Welcome to the second part of our podcast. This is Wakati Literature Podcast. In this particular podcast, we are going to look at how to identify episodes in a text. We need to consider the following. What is the event? Who are the characters involved? What actions or activities are they involved in? How do the characters react to those events? What is the moral lesson in that episode? We have several episodes in Adol's house. And Alana ought to break down the book into the little parts in order to be able to understand the book fully and to respond to KCSE essay questions. Next, let us look at what to consider when setting a KCSE essay on a doll's house. One, the phrasing of the question. Two, the embedded morals. For example, sacrifice, honesty, selflessness, etc. Three, accessibility of the question. That is, can the learners relate to it? Four, the marking points. They must be adequate. Five, possible relevant episodes. Six, the details in the episodes and lastly the two sides of the question for example Torvald is selfish that is side A if you will as a result he causes pain to others and that is side B of the question let us use that approach by looking at a specific question, a sample question from a doll's house. Self-sacrifice must be rewarded. Alana should show the sacrifice and go all the way until we see a reward. For instance, Nora sacrifices for the sake of her husband and is rewarded when her husband gets well. Tips to consider when analyzing a doll's house. 1. Look for the moral values. And how do you do this? Identify a character. What they do. How they suffer or are rewarded. Then, the set text is divided into virtues and vices. Get the questions and identify the instance in the text. Then, questions must have a value statement and the outcome. And the outcome, by outcome we mean reward or punishment. How to answer a doll's house essay questions using the episodic approach. This is a simple formula. This is what we are supposed to consider. One, the characters involved in the event. Two, the situation the character is in. Three, the background. The events that lead to the situation. Four, activities or actions. These are actions that take place and they include the character in question and other characters. Five, reaction. These reactions are drawn from the action. What you as a reader or other characters in the text feel about the character's actions. Six, virtues or vices and that is the embedded moral then seven outcome 
and this is the character's action, will always lead to a certain outcome. And this outcome is what we call a reward or a punishment. Let us use a sample essay question from a doll's house to, to develop a point. This is the question. Self-sacrifice must be rewarded. Citing illustrations from Henrik Ibsen's A Doll's House, write an essay to validate this statement. One, we should identify a character to help us answer that question. Let us work with Nora Helmer. That is the character. Two, let us look at the situation she's in that necessitates the sacrifice. Torvald Helmer is awfully sick and needs urgent care. Three, let us look at the background. How did we get here? When they get married, Torvald leaves his office work because there is no prospect of promotion. With a view of providing for his family, he works early and late. In the process, he overworks himself and falls dreadfully ill. The doctors tell Nora, his wife, that the only remedy is for him to take a rest in the south, Italy. The trip would cost a tremendous amount of money. Torvald is not willing to borrow and would not accept help from a woman. That is the background. Action. What action does Nora take? Nora is forced to borrow £250 from Nils Krogstad and forge a name because a woman is not allowed to borrow without her husband's consent. She takes Torvald to Italy. They stay there for a year. Reaction? Nora is selfless. She makes a huge sacrifice for the sake of her husband. Values or morals that we learn from this action? Self-sacrifice. And what is the outcome? Torvald comes back from the trip and he is as sound as a bell. And that is the outcome or that is the reward that Nora gets. That is just an outline of how the paragraph should look like. A student should write the paragraph in continuous prose. This is how the character may, uh, this is how the paragraph, I beg your pardon, may look like in a student's essay. Nora, a character in a doll's house, is selfless. She borrows 250 pounds from Nils Krogstad in order to save her ailing husband's life. When they get married, Torvald Helmer leaves his job because there is no prospect of promotion. He then works early and late to provide for his family. He overworks himself and falls dreadfully ill. The doctors tell Nora that the only thing to save his life is to live in the South. Nora makes a great sacrifice when she borrows a tremendous amount of money in order to facilitate the trip. A woman is not allowed to borrow money without her husband's consent. Since her husband would not allow her to borrow money, she is forced to forge her father's name in order to get the money. She takes this risk for the sake of love. After a year of staying in Italy, they come back and Torvald is well and sound as a bell. Indeed, women sacrifice themselves for those they love. That is an example of how your point should look like in an essay. Take note, do not be tempted to narrate events in the book. Use the simple formula that we gave earlier to develop your paragraph.
we have come to the end of this episode if you have any questions please remember to leave uh, your comments uh, you can uh, leave some questions in the comment sections down below you can also give some suggestions some corrections and any other ideas that you have in the comments section below thank you